Today we're going to compare the Webcaster Gun to the Webcaster Gun 2 and our DIY Spiderweb Gun. Right now we're using the original Webcaster Gun. It's a hot glue gun, it uses compressed air. You'll need 90 PSI and four cubic feet per minute, so your small hobbyist compressors are not gonna work for this. It does work pretty well. Uh, I was able to cover this whole panel of fencing in about three minutes. As you can tell, it's been windy this day. Uh, it does seem to cut through the wind pretty well. Overall, it does a pretty good job. Uh, leaves a little bit of globs here and there. Uh, probably could have been done a little better. This was the first time using it, so we'll have to see if we can improve later. We've now moved on to the Webcaster Gun 2. This one uses the exhaust port of a shop vac. I'm right now using my small Lowe's shop vac. It's the same general principle, but it does require you to be much closer to the actual subject that you're using this on to make it work. As you can see, I would definitely suggest taping your hose connections together. I had to fight this twice. You can see I also had to turn this gun sideways in order to fight the wind. The wind ended up blowing the glue more than the actual air coming out of the shop vac did. Overall, it took about three and a half minutes to get this panel of fence covered. As you can see, it's got a lot more globs in it than the first Webcaster gun had. Right now we're prepping our DIY web gun by pouring the rubber cement into the Tupperware container. This one basically uses any type of drill with a HVAC fan and rubber cement in a container with two very small holes drilled at the very top of the container. This gun puts out web very quickly. I was able to do one and a half, almost two full panels in about two and a half minutes. It is a little harder to aim this one. This one doesn't exactly go straight out from where you put it. It kind of comes out in a spiral. Works great, as you can see, right around the edges of where the wood pieces are hammered together. Puts out a much finer string than the Webcaster or the Webcaster Gun 2 did, but it's also a little more fragile. Uh, it does stay sticky, so if you're planning on something where this can be touched, it does feel a little more realistic. So these shots have been taken after two watering days and about a week's worth of this web being out and exposed. So far the web from the Webcaster Gun 1 has held up the best, however it all still looks pretty good. It looks much better than anything you can buy at a store. As you can see the rubber cement is sticky, it does stick to your hands. Hot glue does not. Uh, it does seem to be a little bit stronger than the rubber cement as you can see here. Given my choice, I would likely use the DIY gun as my primary tool. 
and I would end up doing this the day before Halloween or the morning of. Based on these tests, I would choose the DIY gun followed by the original webcaster. Webcaster gun 2 is a very last resort. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content.